In every fragment of every last valuable chunk of information that I have ever learned, every line from every self-development book that ever fixed me, every psychology seminar I took notes in and put action to, every journey that I started, and every single call to action message that I delivered to others as free contribution, whether it's in the avenue of physical fitness, mental clarity, financial freedom, spiritual growth, relationships, work life, emotional well-being, or any of the other fancy areas we will strive to be better in in life. Not a single one could ever mean as much to me as this 8 inch by 5 inch moleskin life hack. On December 10th, 2018, I ventured into the local bookstore and purchased my first bullet journal. My connection to physical paper and pen was born. I had this vision that it would be a pretty little place to write all my goals and dreams down, all of my stories and life hacks I'd learned along the way, and it might just become something to help me out with following through on my plans too. Within the first few weeks, I was getting more and more into it. By the time January came around, I wrote in it every single day. February, twice a day, and by March, I would never even consider leaving the house without it. It not only became this small paper world I could escape to and get lost in my own nostalgic writings and drawings, but it became an incredible, completely unrivaled tool for holding myself accountable and becoming way more productive. It was my lost world. The reason this bullet journal is so important to me? I fully believe my current physique, my current mindset, my productivity levels, my focus, drive, ambition, beliefs, standards, values, happiness, passion for learning and sharing, and this YouTube channel completely would be non-existent had I never purchased this bullet journal. So let me explain. Around two weeks ago now, I set up a brand new YouTube channel. In the first week or so, I put out a couple of posts on my Instagram asking what kind of video ideas people would be really interested in seeing. I was absolutely inundated with some really, really cool messages and really cool video ideas, but I would say the number one thing that I got back was make a bullet journal video. Make a video talking about the bullet journal that I so often posted on my Instagram stories. So I am absolutely super pumped to make this video, probably even more than I was to make my minimalist video. Because I feel like this video above all of the others will be the one that will give you the most value and the one that I think that you will find the most exciting. So I have this really cool little setup here where I'm talking to you guys for the GH5 and then if we whip down, we can see under here, you guys can see my hands and I can actually talk you through everything that is in my bullet journal. So let's not beat around the bush any longer. Let's get right into my bullet journal and learn absolutely everything that I put into this thing over the course of 2019 so far. I would just quickly preface this video by saying uh, it's probably gonna be a very long video and I'd probably suggest maybe getting a cup of tea or a coffee and definitely get a notepad and write down some ideas because I've had so many compliments over the course of the last six months um, all about you know my bullet journal, things that people absolutely love about my bullet journal. So I hope you guys find this video super helpful and let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, my bullet journal is a uh, moleskin, is the actual brand of the bullet journal. It's this uh, nice little leverish looking, I guess it probably is moleskin maybe. Um, it's eight inches by five inches across. Um, I use these paper chase pens, which are just absolutely perfect for writing in bullet journals. Um, in my top drawer over there, I literally just just have my bullet journal and my pen. Um, this thing goes absolutely everywhere with me. Every single day, I use this bullet journal. So as I said in the intro of this video, I actually bought this bullet journal back in December 2018 um, and started setting it up ready for the year. So upon turning to the first page here, I have obviously my name, my contact number and an email address. This is obviously in case I actually do lose this one day, which I'm not even joking, would probably be one of the saddest days of my life if I did. But I have, yeah, obviously all my contact details here and as a reward, coffee and a high five. I'd probably give you more than a coffee and a high five if you found this, if I lost this, I'd probably be best friend forever. Okay, on my first opening page here, I have an index. So I have a list of all of the pages that I've got in this bullet journal so I can kind of have a look at the dates here and then I have 
numbered every single page in the corner all the way through this bullet journal um, that obviously corresponds to this index. Flicking over to the first opening page of my bullet journal, I have this bit here which I actually decided was going to be called a goodbye and hello. So it's a, a goodbye to all of these things in 2018 and hello to all of these things in 2019. So uh, kind of looking at the highlights of the year, the victories, the mistakes I made, what I learned, how I felt, what I was grateful for, and then the things that I'd like to let go of in 2019, things I'd like to change, to keep, to study, what I want to feel and what I want to bring to 2019. So this is kind of like a brief overview of the end of last year and the start of this year. Going on to my next page, I have a key and these keys have like what the, the tasks are, um, in progress, completed, cancelled, migrated, don't worry too much about this bit right now. I'll go over this a bit later on in the bullet journal um, and give you a bit of a, a better understanding of what each of these things actually mean. This, if you didn't know, is the hand of Hamza. Um, actually is a symbol of strength, if you didn't know that. Um, I put that in here because I wanted this to be my year of strength. Hence why it says this will be the year. Let's go champ, 2019. So in my first pages here, I have what is called a year at a glance. So I have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And in each of these, say for example, my mum says to me, oh, don't forget in August, we're going to Portugal for a week for my grandma's birthday. I would flick through to August in here and I would write it in there. Um, so these are kind of like brief overviews of big things that are happening throughout the year. Uh, obviously that is the end of the year in a year at a glance. Okay, so then we move on to what is arguably, probably my favorite page in the book, maybe potentially, um, and that is my goals page. So as you can see here with my goals page, I split it up, this is life in the middle, um, and I have work, rest, and play. And then I split my goals for 2019 up into work, rest, and play. So for example, um, I worked with Luke Combs this year. He's a massive country singer. I got to travel around America uh, filming him. Um, so I wanted to create a 1 million view plus film for Luke Combs, which I'm still in the, in the process of editing that video at the moment. But that is something that I really wanted to do. Um, I wanted to hit 5,000 subs on YouTube in the course of a year, which I think that the path that we're on at the moment almost approaching 500 is just insane in two weeks so I do think that that will be something that I will be able to achieve hopefully um, and then obviously it goes to go through those I've got my rest goals now rest is stuff that's kind of like self betterment stuff so I've got for example read one self-help book a month which I'm well on course to do that at the moment um, work out and be in the flow of working out which I'm doing you know sort of stuff that's going to better me as a person kind of sits in that rest area and then my goals for play which is like fun stuff so I wanted to visit 20 new places uh, and as you can see these parts over here correspond to the number one goals that are in each section so I've got 20 new views um, and I've already been to over 20 cities um, in multiple different countries in 2019 I've had a really blessed 2019 in terms of travel so uh, so most of this stuff is all getting ticked off uh, pretty quickly which is really cool and really good um, moving on from goals we move on to this area here which is a really really cool area and something that I, I think that will really, really help you by putting these two areas into your bullet journal. So I have this here, which is called a level 10 life. And basically what you do, you draw these circles, you draw 10 different circles into the middle here, and then you number them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way around to 10, and then you list one to 10 down here. Now one is family and friends, two is personal development, three is spirituality, four is finances, five career, six relationships, seven fun in life, eight given and contribution, uh, nine surroundings and 10 health and fitness. And then what you do is you give yourself a mark out of 10. So you color the color coordination around each of those things. You color out like what you would give yourself out of 10 for those things. And then you give a, put a black mark on the edge of it. Then in say three, six months, there's no set time frame, but in a couple of months or whatever, um, when you've been working on these things and working on yourself, you come back to this and you shade out what you've gained. And the idea is that eventually in all of these aspects of life, we can get shaded all the way out to 10. And when you have on all of them, you're living a, t a level 10 life, which is like just living an exceptionally positive, happy, amazing life. So that is what a level 10 life is. 
Moving on, this is my gratitude page. So I have here, I'm grateful, and then I have literally all of the things written down in my life that I'm super grateful for. Um, if I'm ever having a day where I'm kind of like feeling a bit off or I'm just not focused on something, then I would just come back to this gratitude page and just read a couple of the things and it always just makes me feel super grateful for all the things that I have in my life. So this is a great page to have in it. Moving on, I have this little page, which I think is quite fancy and nice. These are all my affirmations that I've ever learned that I love and used to repeat quite a lot on a day-to-day -day basis until they were burned into my subconscious mind. Uh, some of my favorite quotes that I've ever heard. Some of these are a bit cliche, but some of them are actually quotes that, you know, really have sort of based some of my values in my life off of, off of these quotes in here. Some of my dreams for the future, um, like having a, a nice big house in the outdoors, a black Jeep, a beautiful barbecue area and garden, um, owning everything that I have, but owing nothing to anyone, uh, doing fulfilling work, having two kids a dog and married to Gemma, my girlfriend. That's quite cute, isn't it? And then memories so far of 2019, I've got a bunch of stuff in there as well. Moving on to the next page, these are my daily routines. So this is my, all my morning routines and this here is my nighttime routines. So with these, um, feel free to pause it if you wanna have a look through what my actual uh, routines are. But I would say as well, don't get too caught up on it because I am gonna be making a daily routines video probably in the next couple of months when the channel's grown a little bit and people might be a little bit more interested in my life. Um, moving on here, I have my analytics for my YouTube and my Instagram. Instagram. So obviously you can see I started my YouTube in May on the 26th and I had 26 subscribers. So we're not even a month in and we're fast approaching 500, as I said, which is amazing. Uh, my views for the month on YouTube, um, social media growth ideas I've put in this little section here and I've got uh, video ideas down this side here. Moving on, uh, this is my 10 new activities bucket list. So this basically is gonna be like a page where, which is focused on um, bucket list style stuff. So if I ever do a skydive this year or a bungee jump or I go zorbing or do something pretty crazy that I haven't done before, it will go in here. So as you can see as an example, there's actually a couple of things which I need to fill out in here. But the first thing I did this year was got to fire a real gun in West Virginia. That was just awesome, super fun. So that went in here. Uh, next page coming up is my books. So these are the books that I've read so far in 2019. Um, bunch of really cool books in here. I then rate them out of five. Some of them get a bonus. So for example, Think and Grow Rich is one of the best books that I've ever read. Um, so that gets a, a nice little bonus star there. Um, and then I give just a, a brief overview of my thoughts on the book. Moving over to the next page here, this is my Netflix tracker. Every series that I've watched on Netflix so far this year is here, and the movies of 2019. This isn't like, I haven't like not filled this out. I genuinely haven't had time to watch full-on films this year, which is kind of a contradiction considering how many full-on series I've already watched on Netflix. Maybe I'll spend all my time watching series on Netflix. Then I have music and podcasts, so any ideas that people give me for new music to check out, I always uh, put those in here. My gear wish list, so I have like my drone, my MacBook, new mic, new lenses, new lights and stuff, which as you can see here, I've actually grabbed all of those, which was pretty cool. Moving on to the next page here, this is all of my workouts. So on a Monday, I do back squats, yada, yada, yada. Tuesday, I do cardio and chin-ups. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, this is all of my gym workout routines, my exercise stuff that I do on a daily basis, um, all in here, just in case I ever forget what I'm supposed to be doing on what day. Uh, next page here, yoga is something that I, in all honesty, haven't really grasped yet properly. It's something I'm like, I'm loving, I like it, and like I, I see the benefits of it, but also like I just, finding it hard to just get into it and just do it every single day. So maybe I'll find the motivation soon to actually start doing uh, some yoga stuff as well. Uh, meditation is something that I am massively passionate about. I meditate every single morning without fail, usually for about half an hour. Um, it just calms me, it makes like my day, it, it really sets my intention for the day to go into it with presence and awareness and it's just mindfulness meditation is just changing my life so much. I'll probably make a whole video on meditation, but this is uh, just, yeah, places that I can find good meditations and stuff to listen to and the importance of meditation. Okay, moving on to the next page. 
Now, this one here, I think is really, really cool. It's something that I can always go back to and, and it kind of gives me a bit of grounding. It gives me my, my basis for happiness in life is kind of found in here. So this is the principles of an optimum life health. So both physical and mental. These are kind of the essential foundations uh, for having a, a really positive, happy life. So I'm just gonna briefly go through some of these because I think some of these could have individual video ideas on them. So I won't go like over the top of explaining every last thing about them, but we'll go through some of them. So for me, in order to have uh, an optimum life health, uh, drinking 2.5 litres of water a day is super important. Um, having really good nutrition, so having a lot of fruit, veg, clean carbs and meats, really essential. Um, air and oxygen obviously being one that's massively important but i think getting out and you know breathing in natural air and going out for walks and stuff is 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 really essential uh, to to actually having a happy life as well um come back to this one in a moment come back to this one in a moment exercise exercise is like part of my day-to-day -day life now i've made it um, a massive habit for me i have it every single day um i go for runs i do a lot of hip workouts it's you know shedding the pounds off of me but it's also making me feel really good cardiovascular lungs heart all of that stuff plus when i go for a run it clears my mind a ton man it gives me really good mental clarity i love it uh sunshine because nothing feels better on the skin than sun um getting 7.5 to 8 hours sleep a night is essential for me and I do it every single night. It makes me wake up really alert, happy, positive. I don't feel fatigued or tired. I feel really, really good inside. I feel like my brain's a lot clearer when I've got full night's sleep. Meditation, obviously. Temperance, we discussed in a previous video. You know, temperance being doing more of the things that you should do and less of the things that you know you shouldn't do. Um, hygiene, showers are just essential to me. I shower twice a day. You might think that that's a waste of water but I sh love showering it's very therapeutic to stand under there and just let that water rush over me um, almost washing off my sins and uh, making me feel really good and clean then I have my values here and I think values you've got to have really good values in your life so for example mine are honesty perseverance adventure presence and peace generosity learning gratitude and appreciation I think there's some really cool values to have in there um, I'm trying to make contribution like my biggest value now so I can really give back to people and really try and like help people to have really, really cool, successful, happy lives. Then we have over this side, these last two here. So state, so I've written in here, any beautiful state is really the core essence of who you are without fear. So make the most important decision that you will live in a beautiful state no matter what. Now, uh, when we get to the end of this video, I'll just give you a little brief, um, sort of description of what I do in the morning in one of my things but basically after a meditation I'd always put my hand on my heart and say to myself no matter what happens today I choose that I'm going to live in a beautiful state I'm going to be funny kind caring hilarious giving all of all of the beautiful states yeah because that is essentially who we are without the fear of life coming over the top of us all the time the next one on there is and the last one actually is uh, is trust and faith to always at my core trust in a higher divine power so whether i you know again i don't want to like talk too much on it and yeah i don't know what your beliefs are and what your faith system is but at the end of the day i think that whether you call it grace whether you call it god whether you call it universe i think that you're only right to believe in a higher power and have faith that there is something out there that is not making decisions for you but something that's holding you supporting you always moving for you um, and i think that having a, a great faith and belief system is a real key part to life for example me personally um, i'm a big believer that we are all connected i believe that we are part of this unified field i believe in the law of attraction i believe that the universe conspires to help me on a day-to-day -day basis um, i get a lot of pos positivity and love from that so that's what i believe moving on uh as you guys know, we actually made a full video called The Art of Fulfillment, um, and that is basically what this page is here. It's how to live a fulfilled life. So if I ever 
feel a bit unfulfilled, I come back to this page here and I get a really good understanding again of the things that can really help me to live a fulfilled life. So for example, contribution, health, friends and family, knowledge and learning, having a lot of presence and doing fulfilling work um, is always gonna make me feel really fulfilled. And then after this page here, we move on to what is arguably the most important part of the book and that is the months and the tracker system. Now this part is really, really, really important. The other stuff is just really fun stuff, cool stuff to have in there, but this part is super important. So as you can see here in January, I have my months laid out uh, like this with all my dates throughout and then I have certain events written in there. As you can see in January, I wasn't like hyper focused on like actually coming back here uh, and writing in here. I then have a tracker system where I had seven hours sleep, two liters of water, exercise, read, journal, eight healthy, no spending and gratitude. And as you can see, gratitude, I gave gratitude every single day, but no spending, eating healthy, two liters of water, exercise and seven hours sleeping, I wasn't doing. So I was really feeling like fatigued and groggy and horrible and fat and probably quite depressed and down because of these things here. So you can see my tracker system in January was pretty awful. Moving into February, I started to write in here a lot more. Um, and then I have like a best moment of the, the year so far. Um, and then you can see my tracker system again, loads of red streaming through the middle there, which was uh, pretty, pretty horrific. Um, going into March, you could tell that I started to really start getting involved with writing things. I put notes in here. Um, best moments that I put up here. And as you can see with this month, if you go to the 19th here, it says the first day trying yoga and meditation. And then we go over to the 19th over here and you can see that on the 18th was one of the last days that I ever had these streaming reds through the month. And I said to myself, hang on a minute, I'm changing my life and I'm doing it on the 19th of March. Um, I'm gonna get seven hours sleep, drink two liters of water, do exercise, read, journal, eat healthy, take my vitamins, do my gratitude and do yoga and meditation. So as you can see, there's a couple of days that I slipped up around Gemma's birthday and Mother's Day. Um, but most of these days, I was pretty successful. I was running eight kilometers, I was going to the zoo, running 5K, running 5K, running 5K. Um, and then things really started to pick up as we went into April. So I really heavily started focusing on what I was actually writing in here. So as you can see, I flew back to Nashville on that day. I ran 6.5K miles. Uh, I ran 7.8 miles on this day. And then I went to Minnesota, Illinois, Michigan. Then I came back to Nashville, filmed a music video, then went to Florida for like a week and a bit. Then went to Green Bay. I uh, went to Lacrosse in Wisconsin, then came back to Nashville and went to Sony. And as you can see, um, in April, this was a really, really good month for me for, for actually focusing on what I was doing um, in terms of my tracker system here. So I was getting seven hours sleep, I was drinking a lot of water, doing exercise, etc. cetera. Um, so I had a really good month. You can see around here, like on travel days, music video days, Disney, Easter, and another travel day, that they're the kind of days that I didn't really sort of like hyper-focus on what I was doing. Doing. Um, I was more concerned about the actual things I was doing on those days and not doing exercise. Um, coming into May, May again was a really good month for me. I, I obviously tracked everything that I was doing in here. Went to Iceland, went to Oklahoma, Nebraska, went to Colorado. Um, started obviously writing my notes in here for things that I wanted to do or needed to do for the month, like go out and do a bit of shopping for certain things. Um, and then obviously I have my best moments still. Now with the tracker system on this side, if you check this one out and have a look at exercise, if we come down to the bottom, on the 24th I didn't do any exercise. And then if you look at all of these reds underneath here, so there's only one green. So from the 24th to the end of the month, I only actually done one day of exercise. Now I would actually argue and say that it doesn't matter as much. It's still a progression from April because in April I was running like four or five miles a day, whereas all of these on here are like seven mile, eight mile runs. So uh, I was actually doing more exercise even though I had a couple more days where I didn't. But however, as we went into June, which is the month we are in right now, check this out. Boom, absolutely perfect month so far. So I have had 7.5 hours sleep or more, taken vitamins, done meditation, gratitude, exercise, 
chest 135, which is doing 135 press ups a day. Get four subs or more. We will come back to that one in a second. Uh, three liters of water, eight healthy, journal, and red. And as you can see, I've done all of those every single day of this month so far. I'm up to the 17th, so I just need to fill in those bits from this morning's meditation. Um, and then obviously, you can see I went to Poland and I was still able to do all of those things. And I think the reason I was able to is because I have this bullet journal. So it really holds me accountable. I didn't want to like, there were some mornings I didn't want to go out for a run because I was in Poland, I was on holiday, but then I thought to myself, you know what, I cannot deal with having to have to look at this and seeing one red square right in the middle, like it would drive me insane. So having this and hopefully getting to the end of the month all green is just going to set me up for an insane rest of this year because this so far is just made me feel so incredibly positive every single day. So just quickly going back to this one here, this get four subs. So I set myself a target of obviously getting 100 subs in my first month. We're already fast approaching 500. Um, and I said that to do that, I wanted to get four subs a day. That was a little target I set myself to get four subs a day. Now, as you can see over here, on the first day, I did get four subs. So I hit it, hit the green. Then the next day, I got 27. Then 10, 13, 15, 9, 57 subs on the 7th, Friday, 32 subs the next day, 18, 8, 14, 16, 19, 8, 9, and I don't know what yesterday's was yet because YouTube takes a while to update those. But as you can see, like it, it's just really like laid out my month for me and it, it keeps me on course. Like it, just looking at this keeps me so focused on an on course um, for, for achieving great things. All of these things here are making me a better person. They're make, making me have more mental clarity. They're making me a fitter, healthy, more vibrant, more full of vitality. Um, so I'm super pumped about having this in here. And I think that these sort of things, having these tracker systems are what most people comment on on my Instagram pages. Um, this has been an absolute life changer for me, having this tracker system and having these months here. So skipping forward, I've penciled in July, August, September, October, November, December. Then I have my year 2019, a year I won't forget. So I've got in here cities visited, planes taken, gave in donations, USA miles ran, miles ran in total, video views in total, lessons and progress that I made. And basically in here, I'll have like a brief overview of things that I learned and things that I've done. Um, and then on this page, I'm gonna literally write from this corner all the way across, all the way down in detail, everything that I done and had and learned in this year. Things that made me an incredible, hopefully an incredible giving, contributing person. Um, I can write all of that fun stuff in here. Then we move on to random diary entries. So basically I'll just quickly read this to you. It just says, if you find this bullet journal, know that I'm completely fine with any human reading any part of it. Although the journal is a way for me to track my year, I've found a great level of happiness in knowing all whom I have shown it have been super inspired by it. However, please respect that from this page forward, you are reading my personal diary. Some of the things I write might not be views that you share, some might be pretty private, blah, 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 blah. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he be, Matthew 7, 17. I really, really love that and I think it's super true. So then we move into, and again, like if you're gonna pause the video and read through my diary, fine. If you really wanna do that, that's up to you. Uh, but then I just have random diary entries. So. January 26th, Miami, USA. Uh, January 27th, Nashville, USA. Alabama, Alabama, Baton Rouge, Nashville, New York City. Uh, done a little drawing of what I could see outside my bus window there in New York City. Um, Houston, Texas, New Orleans, Mississippi, Orange Beach, back in England, back in England again. This is where I said, look, March the 19th. Remember back there, we spoke about uh, March the 19th being the day that I decided that I was gonna um, finally stop being super unhealthy. So basically in this area here, uh, I wrote, today I woke up and have enough of feeling so fat fat, lazy, and it makes me mentally ill too. It brings me down when I see how shit I look and how shit I feel inside. Two months of solid shit food, zero exercise, poor sleep has made me feel pretty low again. I'm also gonna try and stick to yoga and meditation from today. Me, and then I've just drawn this like, <laughs> 
<laughs> drawn this little stick man with massive round fat belly, which I thought <laughs> still think is pretty hilarious. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, so it just it, this is my diary entry area. So this is where like anywhere I go, I write about stuff that's happened. You know, I've got my Tony Robbins experience when I met Tony Robbins recently this year. Um, going to Stephen King's house, going to Elvis Presley's birth house, like some really cool stuff like places that me and Gemma have found and I've written about them in here. This is like my diary entry. The next page is pretty cool actually. I've done this in Poland the other day. So I thought, look, Krakow, Poland, I thought that I'd give it a go where I draw where I am, draw my location of where I am. Um, so I can always remember what my view was and check this out. I thought that wasn't that bad. Like it's a drawing of what I could see when I was sat by the side of the river in Poland. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, nice. Then I've got one more diary entry there, and that is where I'm up to. You know, all of these spare pages here are all gonna be where I journal and write my ideas and my feelings and my emotions and where I'm at mentally and physically. We'll all go into this, and it's, you know, it's really cool to read back already and see those things. Um, so, uh, yeah, this will all be diary space here, and then we go to the very back of the book. In this little opening sleeve here, I have all of my typed up notes that I got from, um, these are my typed up notes that I got from going to Tony Robbins uh, seminar. So I've actually written these out. I've actually taken a photo of these notes and put them on my um, Instagram page if anyone wants to. These are some of my logins. I have here my to-do list, which I've done in pen, but then I've also written in pencil what my to-do list is and then I tick them off and then I rub them out when they're done. Uh, before I start all of this, have I done this? So have I meditated, given gratitude? How am I living today and what questions am I asking myself? Then we go into, from here, we go into the adult stuff at the back here. So I've got like all of my camera gear, my travel packing stuff, my airport packing stuff, if I'm going on a longer trip, um, my income streams, my outgoings and phone bills, which I'll probably blur these pages out. Um, this is my PayPal bottle. So everything that I've got in PayPal stays in there until I get to 5,000 pounds. Um, I've then got my stuff from my company, what I need to be doing on here. Um, and then that's it. We are at the end of the bullet journal video. So guys, I hope that that video was helpful to you. I hope it was informative, but also fun and a bit quirky. I really, really enjoyed making this video and I would absolutely love it if you would drop me a subscribe in the bottom corner over there. Wait, where are we? What side? This side. Drop me a subscribe in the corner over here. Drop me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are a bullet journaler, bullet journaler yourself, then drop me a comment below and let me know what you put in yours. Um, and if it's anything close to mine or if it's completely different to mine, it doesn't matter. Please, if you're a beginner, then remember this. These bullet journals are completely empty when you get them. They're literally just a bunch of dots on a page. You can do whatever you want with a bullet journal. Don't be put off by these people that have got these big elaborate designs. Make it your own. Keep it with you every single day. Write all of your fun stuff in there, all your hopes, your dreams, your stories, your ideas, your visions. Put everything in here and track everything. And as soon as you do, I promise you, your life will be absolutely amazing because of this thing. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.